So I've been working on the profile portrait and uh, I've decided I'm going to sign up for a class where we work with live models because I'm having some trouble and also even when I have family that will volunteer to do it, I don't necessarily want to show it um, that um, like my family online. So I've decided first of all what I'd share is just me uh, working on a sketch of my own portrait. Uh, so uh, this picture is from when I was a lot younger, but it's a really good profile picture, I feel. So I thought it would be a great place to start. So this is the photo I thought I would use from when I was a teenager. I thought it was just a great profile uh, picture. So I just finished another drawing exercise with the profile portrait and I think I only spent about 10 minutes on it again. I really think I might suffer from ADHD a little bit, but I know it's funny because when I'm really truly get into something, I can spend hours on it and you like literally have to rip me away. So um, when I get in that groove, but I try not to force it. So this. Um, to me, it's just a personal process as, as far as, um, I feel like I'm not as hard on myself as some people are. I'm not a total perfectionist and maybe that's one of my strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so, um, I was happy with the form of this, the basic overall form. And so I just kind of scribble, you can kind of see my fast scribbling, but I also feel like, um, it was better. I know when I did uh, competitive diving, we always um, would sometimes just end on a positive note instead of uh, keep going when you get tired. And so uh, even though I'm supposed to do this for a whole hour, I decided um, since I was having fun and um, because I want to keep being motivated to come back and do this over and over uh, as a daily practice even, uh, that I would just end it at the 10 minute mark because I was happy with the progress I had made. And the main thing I wanted to do was kind of catch a slight resemblance, at least a slight resemblance to myself, and to get the proportions of a profile. And the things that Betty Edwards says to mainly focus on, I actually have to tell you, I returned the book to the library and I haven't ordered my own copy. I have a lot of people <laughs> I've talked into buying the book so far that um, and now I feel a little guilty because I haven't actually ordered the book and I am going to buy it, but, um, I just haven't, uh, hit the button on Amazon yet to buy it. So, um, but I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, so I forget exactly all the steps. It was quite, I don't want to say tedious, but she had a lot of information for the profile drawing that we're supposed to do. We were supposed to do it from a live person also. And as I mentioned earlier, I think I'll do that. I'm going to, we have a lot of meetups you can sign up for in here in Chicago. So I'm thinking of signing up for some of the figure drawing meetups, um, or a drawing class here in my community. So, uh, that should give me plenty of opportunity to draw from life and also to be around others who are drawing maybe at different levels and uh, I'm pretty sure the meetups are just casual. There's no instruction really. Maybe just peer critics or critiques, but um, you know, I, if I took a class, obviously I'd get the instruction along with it. Uh, but some of the things I remember Betty saying are a lot of, uh, was the, ear problem that people cut the ear off and they cut the top of the head off. So I tried not to do that. Um, also they make the neck too skinny. That wasn't really a problem because my hair is hiding most of my neck, but I do feel like, um, I could see what she means. Like people, because we're so used to seeing the front of our face, our logic tells us that our ear isn't that far back 
in our head, but it's definitely true that our head is, um, it goes back farther than we oftentimes think it does. But when you're drawing, you're not supposed to draw uh, from your logic. You're supposed to draw what you actually see. And so that's what this whole process is about. Um, and then um, I was having a little trouble getting my nose. I was drawing a bigger nose on myself, actually. How insulting, right? I'll show you the photo. Let's get it here that I was working on. Right here. So I basically just kind of hit the general target area and stopped and uh, just left it as is. Um, and then kind of scribbled in the clothes. The clothes are, I think, something that is um, also just a fun thing to do after you get the face properly. Uh, it reminds me of doing the backgrounds on my bird paintings. I, a lot of people like my birds because I, I really focus on their expression and the emotions of the bird and uh, not just having a blank stare, but like he's trying to speak to us. And so um, once I get that though, I can have a lot more fun with the background and maybe even stylizing some parts of it or leaving it abstracted. Um, so I, I feel also the same about portraits that, um, and I see this with a lot of artists. I mean, you really do need to get most of the face, uh, at least the locations and proportions proper. And then after that, um, you can loosely suggest the clothing, you know, even, uh, once you get the hairline, you can just like here I scribbled. Um, I didn't go into detail, so I might work on in another one, another painting or drawing, uh, work on more of the details. Uh, this would have been nice because the clothing also has a lot of folds and the scarf and, um, it's like a plaid scarf, so you could really have fun with that if you wanted to work on a lot of the details. And um, I'm especially excited to draw hair and to work more on eyes. I've seen some artists here on YouTube that do a lot of drawings and paintings just of like, um, like an eye or lips and smiles um, or an not an ear so much. I think an eye just kind of speaks to a, your soul. You know, it's like a more communicative and um, a mouth because it speaks more than the ear, but ears aren't necessarily something we want to look at, maybe have in our house. <laughs> but um, so I think that would be a great practice, maybe in a sketchbook to just work on drawing a bunch of eyes and um, noses even just because noses are on the middle of our face and um, mouths <laughs> and different um, you know from different angles so uh, that's one thing I've also been learning in my I'm taking beginning ballet as an, a middle-aged adult person uh, that all the poses are to show off a certain part of the body so um like you know like don't i look pretty here don't i look pretty here don't i look pretty from this angle and uh so that's also kind of um what to think about when painting or drawing uh the figure you're really trying to capture the essence of the human figure and in all its forms and all its actions even and um so yeah i'm excited to keep going but wanted to share this hopefully next week i will have the book back maybe i can do a more detailed drawing a profile portrait and then share with you when i uh do get into a uh, life or figure class um some of my work from that thanks for watching if you have any comments leave them below